Hey, this is Russell Moore, and this is More to the Point Mondays, previously known as More on Mondays, but it sounded too much like M-O-R-O-N, More on Monday, so we decided to get rid of that name. Uh, and this is where once we come in and talk about what's in the newsletter uh, this week, the More to the Point uh, newsletter. Um, and this week I'm talking about a variety of different things. Uh, the first of them being Twitter. And so I talk on there about how uh, I was using Twitter a lot at the very beginning. I think I joined Twitter in 2008 and, uh, you know, really found a lot of genuine connections on Twitter. A lot of people that I didn't know yet that I came to know later and felt like I knew. But I found at some point that Twitter was not... Uh, as useful uh, for me. And I talk about why uh, in there, in terms of attention span, in terms of finding it difficult uh, not to love my enemies, because I don't see what my enemies say. I don't follow that. Uh, and I don't look at random, you know, Twitter randos uh, in comment threads. But I would see people that I would follow that it was harder for me to um, think charitably of them. <laughs> after seeing the side that comes through there. So uh, I talk about that and about all of the sort of shifting uh, ways of thinking about it. And also, if you've got recommendations for what I would like to do um, is to use Twitter in a way where I can communicate uh, fairly regularly, but without getting pulled into it. So I haven't figured that out yet, uh, but I talk about that and talk about sort of a moment that I had where I was at a monastery uh, in the quiet and realizing that I was being pulled to check Twitter. And there's something really wrong with that. Um, and then I talk uh, in there about trauma and really uh, taking uh, up a comment that was made by Tom King, graphic novelist, comics writer, Tom King, who just put on Twitter. Uh, someone had sent it to me, is the way I saw it. Uh, where he said, uh, you know, narrative fiction has this trope, uh, really in, in whatever, almost in any medium, where someone gets hit on the head, uh, passes out, and then comes to later and just goes on as though normal. And that's actually not true. That's not how the brain responds to injury like that. And so that uh, caused me to think about uh, the wounds of Christ, about what it means to carry our crosses, what it means to live out of, uh, woundedness and trauma. So we talk about that and answer one of your questions, which is uh, from Matthew, I think, who says, what do I do if I'm going to a coffee shop and there's signs in the shop uh, that oppose what I believe, uh, regardless of what it's about? Maybe it's uh, people who are of a different religion or no religion or, or what have you. And so I talk about that. And, you know, it, should he feel guilty about buying coffee there. And so talk about that. And then talk about what uh, what I'm reading right now, what I'm listening to right now, and, uh, and so forth. So let me know uh, what sorts of things you would like for me to talk about uh, on uh, the newsletter. If you haven't subscribed, uh, you can do that at the link in the bio. And subscribe comes once a week, and we talk about all sorts of stuff. So this is More to the Point Monday. We'll pick back up with Reading in Exile tomorrow. A lot of you have been asking for Lila. I'll do it this week. Uh, a lot of you have been asking for recommendations of where to start in Flannery O'Connor. I'll try to do that this week too. And so I'll see you here.